Okay, so let's say you will send the Word documents from your professor and this file is actually for open uh, answer questions and you had agreed that for example for the first answer you will have uh, two lines and three maximum points for the second one you will have one line and two maximum points so the third one would go two lines and four maximum points and three would uh, the last one will be three lines three maximum points so according to our pdf file of instructions uh, we will need to start the open questions uh, with qo and it will be the same for all of the questions and i didn't write it in the instruction but actually i want to say it right now so why i open these uh, non-visible characters is just to show you that for the program uh, this answer uh, this question will be consistent of four different lines and this is not appropriate for the script uh, it will read one line only so to do so we need to delete the new line symbols and replace it with double uh, backslash or you can go with a python version which is a slash n i would suggest that you go with uh, double backslashes because it's the latex way to show the new line and uh, for example this text is actually ready to go to the script and since it asks for a text file we will create a text file called qos.txt open it and we can copy paste it so now before you close it and save in it like it is i want to show you one thing that is crucial for this part so you go to file menu then choose save as and here you can see that the encoding actually is ANSI but the script accepts the UTF-8 encoding so you really need to change this UTF-8 otherwise uh, the beginning of the TXT file will be different so you will have some errors rising while you are running the uh, script so don't forget you need to press UTF-8 here and then click on save it will ask if you want to replace it so click yes you want to replace it then close it so the same goes for the second uh, send file so let's say this is the second file and we need to prepare it okay so in the question one we actually see that professor chose two uh, answers to be correct which means that both of them will be um, preceded with a triple plus and the question itself will go to multiple correct choice questions so it's q and q and don't forget to place triple minuses before that I want to leave it like this, so just to show you how uh, the script deals with these type of uh, strings. So, okay, so for the second question we have two uh, incorrect answers and one correct. It is a simple one, so we go with QQQ. The third question uh, is also a simple one. And why it's here? Because we have this uline space and we go with triple minus for wrong answers and triple plus for right one okay so for the Nobel prize winners again it's the same qqq and the last question will be aligned horizontally we're going to declare it with qh and since qhq will be the 
uh, default value with five columns. I want to do it in three column. And word bothers you with this auto replace, etc. Again, what it does, it actually uh, takes the whole line space, divides it on a tree equal parts, and then place it the first element into the first one and the second to the second space. So it looks better and more convenient. I think so we again go with plus 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 and minus 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 okay so we check it again okay we are ready to go so copy it go to your to your folder and from here create the qs.txt just paste it and save it as the utf8 file say yes to replace it. and we're actually ready to go so as you know the python is already installed on this machine so you go with a right click and then edit with the idle and then if you downloaded these scripts from my GitHub, you can go straight to execution of the code. You can do it by press, pressing F5 or uh, choosing this menu, run and then run module. Both are the same. So let's run it and see what happens. Okay, so the Python shell opens and it starts with the number of copies. So let's say we, we need five copies. And for the date, should it be the 4th of April? The name tutorial for YouTube. So since in Nazarbayev University we have nine digits in the ID number, we go with nine and yes here, because the first question was a multiple correct choice question. So you can go with Y with yes or capital Y, capital yes, it doesn't matter. Okay, so the process started. And as you can see here, it tells that the unnecessary stuff is removed. So because this question one wasn't preceded with the special characters like QQQ or triple plus, it was omitted. Also the 50 shades of gray was omitted as unnecessary and other questions also okay so in the end of this script we uh, have the wrong correct .png file downloaded from the github repository and it should go in the same folder as the final script because uh, in the final script uh, it is written that this image should be included in the compiled PDF file. So here you can see that we have more files than it was before. So let's close it for now. And you can see the wrong correct PNG file and it is downloaded from the GitHub. Then you have the processed QSTXT file. And if you open it with the old notepad, you won't see any highlighting and it is not convenient to see the possible errors or mistakes that you've made. So I would suggest that you download something like Sublime Text and open it in Sublime Text. So just go to Sublime Text, choose View from the menu above and go to Syntax, Latex, Latex. Uh, now it highlights the language specific stuff and let's say here you accidentally forgot to omit the percentage symbol and in latex language uh, this percent uh, declares the comment so in this particular place this comment sign also comments the curly brace which makes the syntax error and while you will be compiling the PDF file, it will uh, raise the error. So with this highlighting from the subline text, you can avoid these small things and quickly go through 
uh, all your code. So again, so it starts with the declaration of the article, then the packages that are going to be used. So here you can see that uh, the path to your graphics will be the same folder as your compiling LaTeX file. So place every, uh, every image that you need inside this folder. Now we have the student's name part, your elements from the general group, and for these elements I will show you the main stuff. So it's question mult, which declares the multiple correct choice uh, questions, and it's followed by the ID of the question. In this case it's mult Q001. And these IDs should be unique, and my script produces these unique numbers. For example, for usual question, we have just Q followed by the number. And if you see it here, for example, okay, so for the horizontally aligned ones, we have uh, multi colors. I don't like these choices horizon because uh, they align them uh, in the center and I use the multi calls uh, with the following number uh, for how many columns uh, you need to divide the space of the line. Okay, so here you can see the number of copies. Here is the name of your uh, exam, its date. So it inserts the group, then it shows the number of digits in the ID number, and this etude means étudiant in French, so it calls the student's ID number. Then we have the mini page that includes our name field. This name field uh, in, uh, will show how to identify your students manually if they messed up with the code of ID numbers. So here you can see the include graphics tag and it points the wrong correct PNG which should be in the same folder. And after the stuff we have the separate answer sheet boxes and the end of the document. So we can close it. So also we have one locked txt file and it locks everything that happens within this uh, Python for AMC script. So first of all it logs the time and the date, then the exam related information, and then the script related information with the for example, omitted items, like here you can see that it trashes this line and in the end it says that uh, everything is written successfully and the wrong correct PNG file is downloaded. So each time you run this script, it is going to append to this uh, log .txt file and with time, let's say you made it like 3000 times. So it will be uh, about 3 megabytes of space taken by this small log.txt file. So uh, if you don't need it anymore, so you can totally delete it. But let's say that you made 10 tests, 10 exams at the same time, and one of them has failed. So to understand what happened, you will go to the name of the exam and find where it actually stopped. I, I made this log uh, file just because once I have got the error and we found out that eight questions were omitted during the exam, so it, it was a total disaster. Actually, I couldn't reproduce this error and it was unfortunate that we couldn't debug the, the problem. Okay, so that's it for now.